Lava, can you explain me what is sexual racism? Sexual racism is a term that I think was first developed, was sort of first coined, as they say, was first meant to describe a system whereby uh, 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 white people were trying to make sure that, um, that black and white people would not mix. And they would actually put it into law. Oh, yeah. There were these laws that prohibited people to have sex with another person of another race. People prohibited them to get married and so, forth, and so on. There is a very famous case in the United States that first uh, rendered those kind of laws unconstitutional. And I really like the case because the couple was called Loving. So it's like the Supreme Court versus loving. It's just like they wanted to just love each other. Anyway, so that's what sexual racism comes from. It comes from uh, an attempt to make sure that people do not, people from different races do not have sex with one another, do not procreate. Mm. Part of it was to make sure that the white race was not going to be corrupted. Um, sexual racism now is something that we also use to refer to people voluntarily, and we see this, for example, in the queer community a lot, voluntarily exclude, like, the, not necessarily by law, meaning like the law doesn't prescribe this anymore, doesn't make it mandatory to have sex with people from your own race, but people themselves say, I will not have sex with anyone but somebody from my race, for example, or I will only have sex with uh, whites and Asians, but not blacks, or only, so Black. it's a lot like grinder, like this is very grinder. Yeah. So sexual racism is basically the kind of ways in which our prejudices uh, with regards to race, like affect the way the choices we make in our sexual lives and our romantic life. There's this research that was done in Australia, and they found that most of the people, and they were all gay people, that they talked to queer people, uh, most people that were tolerant towards racial preferences that were okay with saying I will not have sex with this entire race uh, were also people whom were found to be more to ha hold more racist views so their preferences um, <laughs> their preferences were definitely uh, 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 their the sexual and romantic preferences were definitely inspired by their view of these people in these races and yeah so sexual racism refers to the very problematic and the very uh, uh, um, well just racist uh, uh, habits that we see in dating mostly whereby people claim to have a racial preference but you know that's just racism good old racism i love how they spent money on the research to do the research yeah. and this is the conclusion <laughs> we like, had no idea wow. yeah. because you Shock. know what it is like people try to pretend as if our preferences are not formed our dating preferences are not in any way formed by the society we live in right so like but we know for a fact that the way we're taught, like, no one is born, like, we're not bi biologically, like, uh, 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 hardwired to find people on the cover of Mr. of GQ or of Playboy sexy. That's not something that is in our wiring. That's not, like, hard coding. You grow up and you're taught what is attractive, what is not attractive. You're taught what is disgusting, what is not disgusting. You're taught what is safe, what is not safe. You know what I mean? Um... And that, if we're taught racist beliefs, our preferences, our racial preferences, will go along the lines of those racist beliefs. So there's nothing unique about your racial preferences. There's nothing unique about that. It is part of a racist uh, uh, ideology that we are taught that we integrate and internalize and then say, yeah, but that's just how I feel. Yes, you may feel like that, but maybe you want to investigate further why you feel like that. Who taught you to feel these things? And really, do you want to do you want to exclude entire races from from love, from intimacy, from connection? Why would you want that? I don't... Hey, I love these Olave explains. 
Hashtag love explains. But <laughs> I need your help. I need to know what it is you would like me to explain to you. So please get on our Instagram, Olava Talks, our Facebook page, Olava Talks, and our Twitter, Olava Talks, or in the comments below, and let us know what you would like us to explain to you. What would you like us? To explain, we have, we obviously do not claim or guarantee that we will get it right though. We don't know. <laughs>